Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create product page. So let's see how can we create product page. So first of all, uh, let's create a new LiveWire component. So switch to the command prompt and first of all, stop the running application. So just press Ctrl plus C. Now for creating the new LiveWire component, uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire a space uh, directory name uh, directory name is admin forward slash and component name uh, let's say component name is admin product component all right admin product component now press enter component created now switch to the project and now let's create the route for this admin product component okay so for that just go inside the routes directory then open web.php file and inside this admin middleware group uh, after this route let's create a new route so right here route get at the uri admin uh, forward slash product and add here the component class name uh, which is admin product component all right then column column class and also give the route name name and route name let's say route name is admin dot product all right now save this file now open the admin product component class file so let's go inside the app directory then http livewire admin and from here just open admin product component or php file and inside this file uh, first of all let's add the layout so inside this render method after this and here layout and inside this layout, uh, add here the layout directory name, which is layout dot layout name, which is base. All right. Now fetch all records from database table. So inside this render method, uh, let's create a variable product is equal to model name product column column and here I'm just going to use paginate paginate and let's say exchange record so just write here in. all right and for the pagination live wire uh, just import here use live wire slash with pagination all right and inside this class just use the with pagination so right here use with pagination all right now inside the return after this view name add here comma bracket and just copy this products and right here paste here add here the arrow sign then dollar product okay now save this file now open the admin product component view file so for that just go inside the resources directory then views uh, live wire admin and from here open admin product component dot blade dot php file all right and inside this file uh, let's create a table so uh, before creating the table uh, let's add here the container so right here dot container container all right and also add here a padding style padding 30 pixel and left right 0 pixel all right and inside this container add the row class row all right and then column md12 all right 
and inside this add here the panel so write your panel dot panel dash default okay then panel heading and panel body all right heading and inside this panel heading uh, right here a title all product okay and inside the panel body let's add the table so just write here table class table and table strict okay and now add here t head t r in th and first heading uh, id now just copy this and paste here change here the text column name image the product name uh, simply write your name and stop price degree date last one action all right now after that we hit uh, let's add here t body then add here the for h dollar product h dollar product and we add the for h right here here tag and then pd then double curly bracket and print here the id so right here product arrow id and for the product mid inside the t uh, let's add here the image tag img src double curly bracket then asset and inside this you try to here the uh, path of the product image so you try to here assets forward slash images then product all right and after this curly bracket add here the forward slash then curly bracket dollar product arrow image all right now just close here the image tag and also add here uh, image width and just add here the image width 60 pixel all right and now cd double curly bracket dollar product arrow Top picture text for the name. Okay, now just copy this and paste here and change here the column name. It's talk status. All right, and here for the price, the regular underscore price and category. Uh, for the category uh, first of all uh, let's open the product model and uh, uh, for that just go inside the app directory then http uh, models and from here just open product.php 
and inside this model uh, let's create a function public function category all right and inside this function just return dollar this arrow belongs to add here the category uh, model name category column column class all right and add here the column name category id category address code id all right now save this file now go to the admin prop component view file and uh, here uh, for setting the category name uh, just write here category uh, this method name okay this one and then let's fetch here the category name so just write here name all right and then td uh, for the date just write here double curly bracket dollar product arrow created underscore add and for the action for the time being just keep the blank td all right okay and now for the pagination uh, after the table for the pagination link uh, just write here double curly bracket dollar product arrow links okay and uh, here let's add some css for the pagination just write here a style tag and then now vg okay and uh, set here the height 20 pixel and also add here the nav dot hidden display block important all right now set this file now let's add the link uh, inside the admin menu so for that just open the layout file so from the layout directory just open the play.play.php file and inside the admin menu uh, after the category you can see here this is the category link so after this uh, just add here the li tag class menu dash item and close the li and after this add here anchor tag title product and area is equal to products href is equal to uh, this route name this one admin dot product okay so just copy and paste here inside the double body bracket the route single quote and paste here the route name all right and now just close the anchor tag and add here a text on product all right now save this file now it's done so let's check this so first of all run the application so switch to the command prompt and for running the application just type here php antigen server all right now switch to the browser and refresh the page And inside the admin menu you can see here all product link okay now just click on this link and here you can see the 
the product ID, product age, the image, name, stock status, price, category, created date. All right. There are 10 records in one page. If I click on next record, you can see here the other 10 records. Okay. All right. So in this way you can create product base in Laravel AT e-commerce. In next video we will see how to add new product. So that's all about creating products page. So thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.